Hi, this is Alessio. Hope you're well and welcome to a brand new update on Bitcoin. In just a few moments in this video, I want to discuss with you a very important chart of Bitcoin that is the long term chart of Bitcoin. And I want to show you why this chart is now very important for Bitcoin. Something very interesting we're seeing now on this chart. That's in just a few moments. Before I do that, though, I just want to give you some context, give you some background, what's been happening uh, recently. Now, first of all, after Bitcoin dropped down to this important level, the 21 daily moving average that you see there, Bitcoin decided to ignore all the bearish signals that we saw at this point and essentially blast through higher. And very interestingly now, it is now closed above a key level. OK, it closed above the 50 simple moving average on the weekly time frame, which is quite significant, by the way. Uh, last week, for example, we saw Bitcoin hitting the 50 moving average, getting rejected from that level, which was a, which was a bearish signal. But very interestingly now, Bitcoin bulls, the bulls now pushed Bitcoin above that 50 weekly moving average, which is quite significant because that level usually acts as a major resistance level for Bitcoin and indeed most markets. Take a look, for example, what happened uh, back in the year 20, 2018. As you can see right there in 2018, Bitcoin held that 50 moving average and dropped from that level. And now it's getting above that level. And that's quite significant. Now, let's go back to this chart over here. What I want to mention is something quite important, which is that in the last video that I posted about Bitcoin, I urged a lot of caution and I said, look, yes, Bitcoin has dropped down uh, to support, but look, it's holding the 21 moving average you see right here. And I said, look, unless and until Bitcoin closes below the 21 moving average, we should not get too confident about a drop in Bitcoin. In fact, here's the video clip for you right now. Let's just listen to it for just a few seconds. Bitcoin has not yet closed below the 21 daily average is holding that level is hugging that level so i don't want anyone to become overconfident and to think that yes we're definitely moving lower no there is no certainty because bitcoin is still holding above the 21 daily moving average the blue line you see right there i want to urge a lot of caution here all right so let's not get overconfident here as long as bitcoin holds above the 21 daily average the probabilities that Bitcoin is going to drop still remains below 70%. Okay, so that's one thing. Also, in the members video, so here's the members video that I posted. But essentially, what I was saying last week in the members video was that Bitcoin could see a move back towards the 61.8% retracement. And I said, if it moves, I said, if Bitcoin moves above the 61.8% retracement, then we could see a move above the 5600 to 5800 level. In fact, here's a small section of that members video. Here it is for you. So we can see we've hit the 61.8% retracement. If Bitcoin can get above that, if Bitcoin, again, if Bitcoin can get above and close above the 61.8% retracement and stay above it, that could increase the path of least resistance, increase the likelihood that we could move towards above the highs that we made. And that could increase uh, the likelihood we might hit 5,800, which is the 1.272 extension of this drop. And we might even go, go towards the 6,000 level. Okay, let's turn our attention now to what this potentially means for Bitcoin. You may remember about a week or so ago, I posted a video where I talked about the three potential scenarios for Bitcoin. And I said, look, if Bitcoin follows either one of these three scenarios, we're potentially entering a bull market. The first scenario that I mentioned in that video, you may recall, was that if Bitcoin sees a move, in fact, here's a section of that video you see here. I said, if Bitcoin moves above the 6,800 level and stays above 6,800, then we potentially have to conclude that Bitcoin has entered a bull market. Now, I have to tell you that I still think that this first scenario is rather unlikely. I think it's improbable. I still think that it's rather unlikely on the first attempt that Bitcoin is going to be able to succeed to go above 6,800 and stay above it. So the first scenario I still consider to be rather unlikely. That brings us to the second scenario. Now, the second scenario I'm going to discuss with you in just a few moments. So bear with me a few seconds. But I want to discuss also the third scenario. In that video, I mentioned a third scenario for Bitcoin, which could show we're going into a bull market. In fact, I still think this is the more realistic and more likely scenario, which is that Bitcoin will likely see resistance near the 6,000 levels, maybe just above or under 6,000 levels, and then drop back down to major support, as you can see here on this chart. So essentially in scenario number three, Bitcoin could see resistance and then drop back down to major support near the 4,000 to 4,200 levels. And if then we see a bounce, if we see a strong bounce off of those levels, okay, as you can see here, on my chart right here, if we see a strong bounce off that support level and making a new low, 
making a higher low, in other words, then we could conclude that potentially we're entering a bull market. Again, I still think that out of the three scenarios I mentioned in that video, the third scenario, the one I'm showing to you here, is probably the more likely, the more probable scenario. All right, guys. So let's go now to scenario number two, because that's also very interesting. In fact, this is something we need to really consider now as something which has potential. So in scenario number two, what we said, in fact, let me just bring you the chart. So what you see here is the monthly time frame chart of Bitcoin. So every bar you see here is one month of Bitcoin. And what's interesting is this, that on the monthly time frame, this is very interesting, that in the month of April, look at this, the month of April has now closed above the 21 monthly average. Now, in case you're wondering, well, why is that significant? I explained this in my last video, which is this. If we just go back, let's go back to the year 2015. Okay, here it is. So this is the year 2014 and 15. Take a look at this. And what you will see here is something very interesting. After the last bear market, so after the last bear market that Bitcoin suffered in 2014, it made a low, it bottomed out in 2015, but look what happened here. Here's how you could have known that Bitcoin has started a new bull market because of what happened just some months later, which is that, notice, on the first attempt, Bitcoin did not manage to get above the uh, 21 monthly average, it failed. But on the second attempt, on the second attempt, Bitcoin succeeded. As you'll see here, Bitcoin closed above the 21 monthly average in October of 2015, and then made another high, in other words, a second close above the monthly average. OK, above the blue line you see here, as I mentioned in my previous video, in technical analysis, if you see two consecutive closes above the monthly average and you want to see two positive bars, two green bars above the 21 monthly average, that actually has a high probability that we've entered a bull market. And look what happened after that. As you'll see, after that move, Bitcoin started a major bull market higher and went eventually went up to 10,000 and 20,000. So what this means, if you look at the Bitcoin chart right now, on this monthly chart right now, you will see that in April, we did succeed, in fact, in closing above the 21 monthly average, as you'll see right there. By the way, I should just mention one thing. That's only on the trading view charts. On the trading view charts, here I'm using Bitstamp on the monthly time frame, we did close above the monthly average in April. However, on other charts, for example, the charts of MT4, if I look on the monthly time frame, now look, on the MT4 charts, it did not close above the 21 monthly average. So we're seeing some discrepancy here. Some charts are in conflict. Uh, so MT4 charts and most other charts are not showing a close above the 21 monthly average, but the trading view charts are. In case you're wondering, well, how do we know which chart to choose? I would say just keep it simple. Just choose one chart and go with it. So to keep it simple and for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to go for the moment on the trading view charts. Although I'm not saying the MT4 chart is wrong either. Okay, But in any case, keeping it simple, we have, at the very least, we have the April month closing above the 21 monthly average, which means this, as I'm sure you probably guessed this by now. If we see a positive close, in other words, a green bar, not a red bar, but a green bar in the month of May above the 21 monthly average, above this blue line you see here right there, the blue line currently is at 52.86. If the month of May also closes above the 21 monthly average, the blue line, then that shows a high probability that we could be entering a bull market in Bitcoin. All right, guys, so we'll have to be patient and let's see how the month of May turns out, okay? Uh, for example, if Bitcoin fails to close above its 21 monthly average and we close below it, if we do that, then no, then the probability of a bull market has been reduced. But bottom line is this is something we have to watch. So we're gonna keep an eye on the monthly time frame chart and let's see if we get two consecutive closes above the monthly uh, EMA, the monthly 21 moving average. Uh, by the way, I just wanna also mention this, that despite this rally we've seen on Bitcoin, currently at the moment, you can see that Bitcoin is hitting resistance, this trend line, okay? This blue line you see here, all right, uh, this blue line, we're hitting this resistance again. This probably is the second or third, maybe the third time we're hitting this resistance. And you can see that Bitcoin for the moment is struggling to get above this trend line, this blue line you see here. And not only that, we're going up. You can see this is rallying and making new highs, but on bearish divergence, you can see on RSI. The RSI is making lower highs. So we got a bearish divergence, which is a sign of weakness in this rally, in this trend. Now, I should just say, if Bitcoin 
manages to successfully close above the trend line, if it gets above this trend line here, this blue line, that could negate the divergence and it could push towards the 6,000 levels. But in any case, we do have bearish divergence, which means also this, Bitcoin has to protect this support level, the support level I mentioned in the previous video, which is near the 5,000 levels. If Bitcoin is gonna be able to continue this rally, it needs to protect these lows near 5,100 to 5,000. If it breaks these lows, if it breaks these support levels, then potentially we're gonna see a drop further lower towards the next support levels. All right, guys, before I finish this video, I just wanna mention something very quickly, and it's quite important, which is that my good friend, Paul Elliott, is doing a webinar, a live webinar this Thursday. I'll be at this webinar as well. And what essentially Paul Elliott's gonna do, and by the way, for those of you who don't know, Paul is a good friend of mine. We've known each other for almost 10 years now. Fantastic guy, and I always listen to him for motivation and inspiration. So he's doing a webinar on how you can achieve more in the next 90 days than more people achieve in a decade. I highly recommend coming to his webinar. And again, guys, that's this Thursday, uh, 8 p.m. UK time, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, I'll put the link for you in the description box, guys, so you can go ahead and register. I'll see you guys in this webinar. And guys, thank you once again for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video update. Thank you very much indeed. Bye for now.